panel, Sean Noble is the president of American Encore, and Blake Rutherford served on Hillary Clinton's finance team in Philadelphia. Gentlemen, I want to get right to it. Blake, I think I know what your response is going to be, so I'm going to toss this first question to Sean. Sean, we saw a big celebration in the Rose Garden this week. Um, jumping the gun a little bit on that? I don't know if it's jumping the gun, gun as much as it's sending a message to the supporters of repealing Obamacare that we've taken the first step and that, that this process is now underway. I think they needed to do it because there was some concern from the base that they weren't going to do it. They, you know, they had a false start where they didn't get the, the votes and they pulled the vote back a couple weeks ago. So I think they wanted to send a message that said, hey, we're serious about this and we're, we're taking steps to get, in, uh, to get Obamacare repealed. All right, Blake, I want to bring you in um, because I, I assume I know your response on this one, but I, I also want to ask you, uh, you know, make no mistake about it, this is not what we're going to see in the Senate. No, we're not going to see anything like this in the Senate. I, I think we can expect that the Senate will take a paper shredder to to the House bill. It's it's. Uh, are they going to take a prepper, the paper shredder to make sure that they get all the Republicans except two, or are they going to get Democrats involved? I, I, uh, Mitch McConnell has has not to date expressed any interest in working with the Democrats. So if reconciliation is the way they're going to go, they know they're not getting any Democratic support. I think they would be smart to to revisit their strategy, however, because I think the House bill is so politically toxic already that the Senate's distancing, distancing itself from it. They're going to have to revisit this entirely. Uh, we now have a House in play because because they took that vote. So I, I think the Senate will have to reconsider. Politics, <laughs> much, much, in a much different way. I, I think, I, I think Sean, Sean now will, will probably have to admit um, that, that it was a curious political strategy by the Republicans. Sean, I'm going to let you. Well, I, 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 I wanted to talk about that a little bit later, but, but if you bring it up, you brought up 2018. So, Sean, I want to let you respond. Yeah, I, I think it's not necessarily a curious strategy. The strategy is to use reconciliation to take the first step in repealing Obamacare. This isn't going to happen in reconciliation. This is now going to, they're, they're then going to go to regular process to do other health care reforms that are necessary to completely root this thing out. But this is far from uh, being an election issue at this point. Remember, the Democrats passed a bill in 2009, in October, November of 2009, and celebrated it. Then the the Senate passed a bill on Christmas Eve, a draft bill really, and then after they lost the Scott Brown seat, or the, the Ted Kennedy seat to Scott Brown in January of 2010, they went to reconciliation. So we're using reconciliation to, to unwind what they put in place by reconciliation. So this is far from, from over, and I don't think it's going to be a bad thing for Republicans come election 2018. I think by the time we get there, if Obamacare has not been repealed and it's still in place, it will have caused so much, caused so many problems with rising premiums, businesses having to, to lay people off because of how expensive health care is. There's going to be a clamoring. And I think Republicans uh, were smart to, to start this process. Okay. And if they get done by Election Day, that's going to be better for them. Okay, I want to move the conversation a little bit forward because I want to talk about the Senate. That's where we're going to be, we're going to be talking about for the next, obviously, couple of weeks, perhaps even June until we get that OMB report, that scoring. But I want to talk optics. There's a group here, um, a little bit more than a dozen lawmakers, who are, are getting to, together. They're vying to make this a better law. And I want to talk optics because I see uh, there's a lot, of, a lot of men in that group, a lot of white men, respectively. There's two women who I don't think are included. In fact, I know they're not included. That is Susan Collins from Maine and Lisa Murkowski. So I want to toss to you, Blake, when we talk about making this law better, do there need to be more voices at the table that we know of right now? Oh, absolutely there need to be more voices at the table. I mean, the, the thought that, that, that only 12 white men are going are gonna to craft a, a Senate health care bill is, is preposterous. I mean, we certainly need uh, to include not only women but minorities. And, and, and the Republican Party really has to think about the consequences of this House vote as they, as they draft this bill because the House vote not only, not only eliminates... Uh, the pre-existing condition option it it taxes older Americans and it and it looks like that but while we don't know what it's going to cost that it's likely to to kick some 24 to 26 million people uh, off their health insurance which is just a wild endeavor while the only true benefit that any Republican can talk about is that it gives a tax cut 
to the wealthy. All right, um, Sean, if that's if that's the Senate plan, then sure they can stick with they can stick with this crew of twelve and 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 achieve that same end. I, I certainly hope that that's not the case. All right, Sean, I want to give you the last word. We did have a, a lawmaker on, um, Representative Rooney from from South Florida, who said that initial OMB report was completely false. So there are some. Uh, voices that say we're going to be seeing a much more positive CBO score this go around. But I'm going to go ahead and give you the last word. I, I, I think that we'll see a better score. I think that, that this is the beginning of the process. I mean, this is far from over. And for the Democrats to be spiking the football saying we're going to win the majority over this, it's really premature for that. And I think they have to re rethink their strategy on that. All right, gentlemen, thank you so much. We're, we'll, we'll sort of have you back because this debate is not going anywhere. Thank you, gentlemen.